We're gonna do a steak pulling demonstration here. And basically what I'm gonna do is show you the different holding powers of the various different steaks that are used in our industry. We're going to try and make the sum of all of these parts into one complete unit. Anchoring is one of the most important parts of that process. So I'm gonna show you the do's and don'ts. Some of these stakes you might have in your inventory, don't be offended, but I'm gonna tell you to throw them away because they don't belong in the commercial tent rental industry. I'm also gonna make some recommendations for you so that you don't have to worry about anchoring failures. Before I get started here, I need to introduce one person. He's a very important person to this demonstration. He's standing right behind me in the uniform. His name is Mark. His name really is not Mark. His name is Mother Nature, okay? Mother Nature here is going to be introducing the forces that our real Mother Nature introduces into these stakes. What we've done here is created a stake line and I've drawn a white line on the ground that's five feet away from where the anchors are. Our standard stake line for a seven foot tall tent is five feet out. So I've gone five feet out, the top of the tow truck is seven feet tall. So I'm, I'm representing a seven foot tall tent, five foot stake line. I'm gonna start here on this end, I'm gonna work my way down. Down on this end to my left, your right, are the very small stakes, and then I'm gonna work up to the larger stakes and some of the gang staking systems that are used. Um, what you're gonna see here is basically two numbers. The first number is what I'm gonna call the initial failure or creep number. And that's basically when that stake just starts to move forward. After that, we're gonna go, and on some of these, we'll totally fail them. On some of them down here, we probably won't be able to totally fail them because it's a little bit dangerous with what we're doing here. We might break some things and I don't want stakes flying all over the place. Um, I have broken the window of one wrecker in the past, so I really don't wanna do that. Um, so anyway, we're gonna start down on this end. The first stake I am going to use is the uh, 5 8 inch diameter little J-hook stake. Believe me, if you are using this in this industry, you need to get out of this industry right now. This has no place in our industry for a tent anchor. This tent stake is designed to hold down sidewall, to hold down bounce rides, to anchor the base of doors, and that's it. It is not to be attached to a tent guy line at any point in time. All right, stop, stop. All right, you see that? It already creeped forward a little bit. It doesn't even, well, let's see, five. It's about 100 pounds of holding power, all right? The smallest tent that you guys rent would be what? Like a 15 by 15 or a 20 by 20 over-the-counter type, lightweight, all-purpose canopy type tent. That's gonna require a minimum of six to 800 pounds of holding power for that to withstand any sort of wind. If you send that stake out at 100 pounds, you're done before you even start, okay? You can go ahead and pull this all the way out of the ground. I don't believe it's gonna change anything because once these fail, they fail and they're done. And it never went over above 100 pounds, okay? So you can see these, tent, these have no place in our industry whatsoever as far as a tent anchor goes. 